Hello, brothers and sisters. Hiking Druid here, and I want to tell you about protective herbs and what some of the uses are for them and how they can help you and your family keep building your wellness. So come on in. The water's great. I'm Andrew, and I've spent over 30 years out in the wilderness uh, exploring, finding wild plants, foraging uh, for the last 10 years, studying herbs, and I want to share some of my knowledge with you folks and help get the word out there about how these protective herbs can help you and your families uh, stay strong and healthy in these challenging times. So one of my favorites I'm going to start with is peppermint. That does grow wild and also it's easy to grow. It soothes nerves too. It strengthens heart and stomach. It's relaxing. It relieves chills and fevers. It's one of the best herbs overall and it's very historically been used by all of our ancestors, at least in the, you know, in the areas where it grows, which is all over Europe, North America, and um, Northern Asia. So next we'll talk about oregano. This is a powerful herb. It's very strengthening for the stomach and increases appetite. It's great for a sour stomach. And it also cleanses the blood and strengthens you overall because of that. Um, it has been used for, for a very long, long time. Now, yarrow is one of the least known about herbs on this list of seven perfect plants for protecting your health. And uh, number three, yarrow helps with fevers. It's excellent for lungs and breaking up um, congestion. And it's great for colds. And if you make a tea out of it, when you're first getting those warning signs that a cold might be coming on, it will help break those colds up so fast within 24 hours, nine times out of 10, you're going to be feeling like goodbye cold. It also can help with those female problems. It helps with diabetes. Number four on the list is turmeric or what's been called for generations, golden seal. Um, it's a wonderful remedy for stomach disorders. It's a remedy for cold. And so you might begin to see how you, sometimes you can combine some of these things together, like for cold, for example. Uh, turmeric is also great for skin disease and open sores. In that case, you make a tea and you make a, and you wash and you make a wash with it, or you wash a wound and then you sprinkle the powder on it, which is made from the root, by the way. Um, so, oh, turmeric can also be really good for tonsil and throat problems. So you make a like a mouthwash, gargle with it. Number five, one of my favorites, I have a, another video about this, um, is pine needles. They're rich in antioxidants. They are very useful as a remedy for cold and flu. It's an immune system strengthener. It's great for kidney health and liver. It's loaded with vitamin C, which helped our ancestors in the United States, the settlers, and even the colonists used it at first to help keep scurvy away in the long winters. You still get the pine needles. Okay, 
Number six, catnip. One of the oldest household remedies. What makes cats go cuckoo calms our nerves. Isn't that interesting? It's a great um, old remedy. It's been used for generations upon generations. It's calming, it's soothing, and it's relaxing. So after a long, crazy day at work, let's say, come on home and have a nice, warm, soothing cup of catnip tea. Number seven, and the last on this list, is wild carrots, also known as Queen Anne's lace. That can be harvested right inside a town. It can be harvested in the forest. You can use the seeds, the flowers, the roots if you get them early in the spring. Um, it's great for liver and kidney issues, bladder troubles, and um, yep, you can make tea. The flowers are great, um, and it's just an overall great remedy. The tr Native American tribes knew about this, and um, so again, the the settlers you had it in in their medical toolkit as they were traveling. Um, so that's. Uh, seven of the perfect plants that are protective herbs for you and your family. And I hope that you enjoyed that and got something out of that. Um, please subscribe or follow this channel and like it. Thumbs up. Give it a rumble, depending on what platform you happen to be catching this on. It helps more people, you know, to get this information and folks can learn about this important uh, topic. Now, down below, I'm going to have a, um, a link right below this video and check that out because you can get a free guide. It's a, it's, this guide is free. It's about pine needles and peppermint. And I'll, you'll also get my free newsletter which is uh, going to give you a lot more information about protective herbs for you and your family's wellness. So let's uh, keep strong during these challenging times. And thanks for watching. And we'll talk again soon. Have a great one.